Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super pumped, excited to share with y'all why I just bought McKesson. This is a brand new stock for me. Never had this in my portfolio. Let me tell you why I'm adding it today. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the company and then I'm gonna share with you some of the reasons why I think this is absolutely a fantastic buy. Let's jump into it. So first of all, McKesson Corporation, they're trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker MCK. And essentially what McKesson is, is they are a diversified healthcare organization. Their core competency is in drug distribution and they are the largest drug distributor in the United States. So let's talk about that distribution network. They distribute branded generic drugs, over-the-counter medicines. They service pharmacies, hospitals, other healthcare entities. They operate 27 automated warehouses and logistics centers across the United States. This is a big player, guys. If you've never heard of McKesson, um, you're hearing about it now major player in the industry. If you know anything about healthcare, then you probably have heard this name. There are four business segments that are part of McKesson, and the first one is US Pharmaceuticals, which includes their distribution business. Their second segment is Prescription Technology Solutions. Their third segment is Medical Surgical Solutions. And finally, they have their international segment, which is their non-US drug distribution. Now. Let me tell you guys why I think that McKesson is a buy today. This is why I'm adding it to my portfolio. First of all, they have a scalable financial position. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So they have right now, and, and I, I, honestly, this, is a, this isn't great, but it shows the potential, okay? Small profit margin. Their profit margin last year was 1% net income margin, guys. 1%, but they have an incredibly large revenue base of $309 billion in sales last year, which means 1% of $309 billion. Their net income last year was $3 billion. Now, that's only 1%. So what I see, and one of the main reasons I'm buying into this company, if not the biggest reason, is because there's a huge potential here for significant profit growth through either revenue scaling or operational improvements if they could double it from 1% to 2%. I mean, you're just increasing your profit margin by 1% would literally have a $3 billion increase. It would double their net income. Absolutely crazy. Let's look at some of their growth businesses too because uh, the McKesson has several companies under them that they've acquired. First of all, U.S. Oncology Network. They acquired this in 2022, just real recently. And they've expanded that to 2,600 practices. And this is generating services, software revenue, and it's growing their clinical trials business. So keep that in mind. U.S. Oncology Network, big growth business that's under their umbrella. And the second one that's got my attention is their prescription technologies company, uh, Cover My Meds. You may have heard of this, Cover My Meds. It, they are a software platform that is leveraging electronic health records and relationships with pharmacies, providers, and benefit managers. And they're helping patients save on medications, prevents uh, prescription abandonment, they're improving medicine access. In fact, look at some of the numbers from 2023. This company that they bought, uh, Cover My Meds, huge growth business under their, uh, under their umbrella. Significant impact just last year, 2023. Here's the numbers, $8.8 .8 billion saved for patients overall. $8.8 .8 billion saved. That's incredible. 10.7 million prescriptions saved. 10.7 million prescriptions were not canceled, were not abandoned because of the service, because of this company. 94 million medication accesses huge what this is doing uh, so I mean it's it's something you can get behind something you can believe in something um, that is driving a lot of growth for McKesson and when it comes to profit contribution their medical surgical supplies and their international segments are contributing more to net profit every single quarter okay let's turn to their financial strategy because this is big all right 
So three points I want to give you for their financial strategy. First of all, they've had generous free cash flow that is approximating their net profit annually. Second of all, they um, have a lot of share buybacks that are resulting in mid to high teens annual earnings per share growth. And number three on the financial strategy is they have strong market performance um, over the last five years. And we're expecting to see continued outperformance of the market. Now, the big reason that I want in on McKesson is that they're a winner and I expect them to continue to win. They also have some additional revenue sources. So they've had a lot of growth from their GLP-1 class drugs, which are for diabetes, weight loss, and they've had increased free cash flow from nominal revenue boosts due to the GLP-1 drug fulfillment. Just something to keep in mind, another big thing, uh, big reason why you might want to invest in McKesson. So when we look at their investment strategies, I see them investing in four different things, guys. First of all, efficiency improvements. You can see an example of this with their Six Sigma principles-based drug fulfillment. Uh, the number two investment strategy I think McKesson is using here is bolt-on acquisitions. They're buying up companies, bolting them onto the larger framework. Number three, they're investing in their R&D. And number four, they, there's a higher level of shareholder returns through share repurchases and dividends. So that's where they're investing. That's where they're putting their money. Guys, these are the main reasons that I bought McKesson today. Let me tell you, though, some of my concerns, because um, when, when I'm digging through this, doing the research, trying to find information for you all and really information for me, I'm buying these stocks and putting my money on these stocks, guys. This is what I'm watching. All right. And this is every company has cons and we have to bring those out here. Here they are. So first of all, financial health of their major customers. I think there's a lot of vigilance that's required for major pharmacy chains like CVS. If they were to lose a partnership or if one of those pharmacies was to go down, that would hurt them significantly. Uh, another thing I'm looking at is regulatory risks. There's a lot of risks from changes in drug approvals. There's risks from changes in Medicaid, um, other reimbursements that may affect pricing. And But you know what? When, when I look at that, when I look at all these uh, things, all, all the risks, I really expect that McKesson can weather foreseeable industry challenges. They're a big player. They've won in the past. I expect them to continue winning. So uh, who is this for? Who wh Who's the ideal buyer for this stock? Well, if you're looking for a low volatility, large cap investment idea, McKesson checks that box. They have a strong beat the market potential. I expect them to outperform over the next few years and they are a candidate for diversification because they have so many different various business segments. Now, if you already hold a significant amount of McKesson shares, this may not be a great idea for you, or maybe you're already concentrated in the healthcare industry. Personally, I love tech stocks. That's generally where I go, but I want to diversify every once in a while, and so I do have a stronghold in the, in the healthcare industry, McKesson, being the newest uh, the newest member of that and then also if you're looking for more aggressive plays within the industry McKesson may not be it I don't expect McKesson to blow up and 10x your returns over the next year it probably is not going to happen anyway so McKesson's a safer buy from me guys um, and it really what I do is I try to sprinkle these into the portfolio because they are the foundation. They are the anchor that holds the portfolio during the storms when there's a lot of turbulence. It's good to have a foundation in some stocks that can weather bigger storms. So anyway, guys, uh, those are the main reasons that I bought McKesson. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, drop a comment. Are you buying? Are you selling? Are you just watching from the sideline right now? Let me know what you think about McKesson. And um, don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.